Before looking at diagrams in a book, I have found that for this subject and topic, using the model steam engine and generator is a great platform for discussing the many energy transformations that occur within a power station. And since otherwise energy is quite an abstract phenomenon, this makes introducing some of the energy transfers much easier. This would be good practice for other areas of science too, if there is a good demonstration that could make something abstract easier for the learner to visualise. Not only is this good for the visual learner, but also good for other types of learner too. Using the metaphor, if I said that having lots of good resources for teaching science is having lots of cake, now cake is good, but the icing on the cake is how this is used and the subtle changes in the way that we construct and direct our questions. Targeted questioning at the various learners who are working at different levels is an example of differentiation and also for an observer it is a clear indication that the science teacher knows their pupils and their pupils' targets. For example, when the steam engine is running as a class demo, now a real physical steam engine that is noisy and has steam leaking from it, a question that would require a lower order thinking could be targeted at a pupil with lower target grades. Could be for them to identify or recall the types of energy at the various parts or to identify the energy transformations happening at the boiler or at the furnace. Something that would require students to link ideas from different areas of science would require higher order thinking slightly. And so to get some icing on the cake, you could then demonstrate that you know your pupils by directing another question. Johnny, could you please explain why you think I've broken the fuel into tiny pieces? Then once he answers, you could bounce this to another pupil and ask Sarah, why would this make the bulb shine brighter? Since this question will involve giving thought to the various energy transformations along the way, this would be harder to answer for someone who has just recently learnt about energy transformations and would require high order thinking.